Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how we can create a speaking clock app in MIT App Inventor. So that's a really very simple and basic app. Okay. So in this video, we will learn how we can fetch the current time. Okay. And how we can fetch the hour and minutes from that time. Okay. Let's see how we can do this. So let's create a standard project and that one is speaking clock right so that's our screen here so whenever someone open our screen or you can do the coding on button click also that's the button so you can just need to time here right this now what we will do uh, that's our button here right simple and you can make it like a with is something 40 percent to 50 or 60 something like that Okay, now let's we have to drag and draw one sensor here. It's time sensor. Click on sensor. You can see clock. This one simply. And we have to drag and draw one more thing. Uh, now click on media and you can see text to speech option. That one. Drag and drop this here, right? Now let's go to the block section. Okay. And whenever someone click on this button, and you can code for whenever someone open this app. It means you can we have to code for whenever screen will in a slice okay so let's code for whenever someone click on this button so what we will do click on the variable and let's create one variable here initialize global and that one is time and now let's assign the value for this time so text and this one blank okay now whenever someone click on this button so uh, click on this variable time and set global time value should be clock click on clock and you can see clock dot now this one the value should be clock dot now now we have to fetch the hour and minute from this variable okay so for that click on text to speech okay and call text to speech message and click on this text and you can see join this one drag and drop here and this one is string like this here and one more i think let's try now we have to fetch the time it means cat global time okay now we have to fetch the global time value okay. we have to fetch the r value from this global time okay so click on this clock option and you can see the r option uh this r instant right so we are fetching the r instant option from this global time it means instant, like this now let's uh, copy paste this one and drag and drop this here like and you can just type here the time is the time is and this will display the time is nine okay nine o'clock something so this one and i'm to use your o clock okay and and this one click on clock and you can see the minute option uh, with this one minute instead this one this one and we are fetching this minute here so what they said the time is nine o'clock and 23 minutes like this 23 minute okay we have to use one more thing that one is this one and we will fetch here the text is minutes minutes like this right let's run this app and let's see how this app will work so you can see that's the app here click on this time the time is 22 o'clock and 41 minutes right simple you can design your app okay according to your requirement like you can design this button you can design the screen there are a lot of things you can do with this you can call this code on screen initialization also so you don't need to click on this button okay so that's really very simple and basic app using this app you can do a lot of things okay so thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you have still some doubt you can ask me on command have a nice day be safe bye bye